Welcome back to Junebug Design Tutorials. Today I'm going to be showing you how to download and print the invitations that you order in my store. For today's tutorial, I'm going to be using this pack that I found on Amazon. Um, I'm absolutely loving it. Um, it comes with the cardstock and the envelope together so you don't have to be worried about finding the correct envelope for your invitation and it's a matte finish. It comes out really pretty. I'm also gonna be going over other ways that you can print your invitation. So if you wanna do it at home, this is the tutorial. And I'm also gonna share with you a few links in the description of places that I like to get invitations printed at. Go ahead and get started. We're first gonna go ahead and head over to our Etsy shop so we can download our file. And then I'm gonna show you how to print it on your printer and what settings to use. Okay, we're going to go ahead and head over to my Etsy shop and today we're going to be using our Winnie the Pooh baby shower in pink, which is this one. Um, when you're placing your order, you want to make sure that you're putting in the parents-to-be name, you want to put the address, you want to put your date and time, and any registry um, that you may have. Um, we're gonna you're gonna go ahead and add it to the cart and once you do that you go to check out you're gonna see that you're gonna be able to review your information and it gives you a chance to edit it um, you also might get a 20% discount so you definitely want to click on it and use it and then you're gonna go ahead and check out once you get the notification that your item is ready for download you're going to head over to your Etsy account and sign in. Um, you want to make sure that you're on a browser or on a phone browser if you're doing it on your phone. It will not come up on the app. So you're going to click on your profile. You're going to go to purchases and reviews. And it's going to pop right up. Uh, it's ready to be downloaded. So you're going to click download files. And you're going to scroll down and they're all attached here. And then you're just going to click download and it will automatically download to your computer. Okay, so now we're ready to print. I'm gonna go to File, Print. Um, this is gonna look a little bit different for everybody because everybody has a different computer, a different printer. Um, one thing to keep in mind when printing invitations is that you want it to be borderless. That means without the white border. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and pick Photo on Photo Paper. You wanna make sure you, you select the right setting. We're going to select 5 by 7 which is the size of this invitation, and we're going to pick the borderless one. Now, if that doesn't pop up for you, you want to look at your printer's manual to find out how to do the borderless printing. And then you want to make sure that you have this on portrait so that it will print perfect. And we're going to go ahead and press print. You're going to do the same thing for the back. Once you print the front, you're going to go ahead and do the same thing on the back. All right, once you go ahead and download your file, you're ready to print. So you want to make sure that you're putting your invitation in and then you're sliding the side so you can get the size. Now that you got this part, now we're going to print the back. This came out so cute. Now we're going to print the back and we're going to put it in. And then we're going to go ahead and print. Now that our invitation is done, we're going to go ahead and put them in the envelope. But let's go ahead and give this another little finishing touch to make it super cute. So, um, I have these in my store. I'll go ahead and leave the link for you down below. These go great with the invitation. They're the same design and they say you're invited. So we can put them on the back to seal our envelopes. Um, I have a tutorial also on how to make these and print them and cut them and what supplies you need. So I'll leave that link for you also down below. Okay, so what am I doing? All right, let's cut these real quick so we could add them to our envelope. All right. All right, 
So we went ahead and put our invitation in there. And now we're going to put the little sticker that we just cut off. Obviously, you want to seal this when you're doing this for real. But for this purpose, I'm just going to put the sticker. And we're just going to peel this off. And we're going to put it in the back. And that's going to add such a cute detail to your invitations. And that's how easy it is to make these invitations. If you like this tutorial, please go ahead and give us a like and subscribe. And like always, thank you for watching and see you next time.